Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be actually reviewing a product. Now today's product is the Ultra Laser Master 3 and please be aware that I have never touched a laser engraver before. All this is totally new to me. So the area of the machine for cutting or engraving is up to 400 by 400 millimeters. Its engraving speed is up to 20,000 millimeters a minute and this is due to the high precision stepper motors, the low center of gravity and lightweight LU2 10A laser module, which only weighs in at 235 grams. The laser itself is a strong 10 watt true optical power. Now, some companies will detail the input power rather than the output power. This 10 watt is the actual output power of the module itself. The focal spot is 0.05 by 0.1 millimeters, which brings delicate detail at 0.01 millimeters. It has an integrated air assist, dual fans and foldable focal gauge to allow you to easily focus a beam for when you're setting up your material for cutting or engraving. As you can see from these test videos from the Orchard's official YouTube site, it's a powerful diode laser. Specsafe can cut 30 millimeters acrylic and powerful enough to cut through 10 millimeters of acrylic or pine board with just one pass. If you increase the passes or slow down the speed, then you're going to cut deeper. Now, if you use an air assist, it helps prevent the charring and also helps with that cutting depth. So with this wide range of speed and high power, it really opens up the scenarios and use cases and also the materials that you can use with the laser. We also got a wide range of accessories and I've put on screen and also in notes of where to go and get these products from. So as you can see, we have the Laser Master 3 itself with its airframe. We have the replacement lasers. So if you damage yours or it comes to its end of life, you can buy another one here. The YRR rotary roller for cylinder engraving and obviously cutting. Nobody actually says about cutting with these. And if you think about it, you have pipes and cardboard tubes, then I assume that you can actually cut these and cut patterns into them. And I cannot see any reason why not. And it really opens the potential for gifts and crafts. Now, this is of real interest to me. I used to many years ago be a kite maker. And I don't mean small single line kites, I mean the large four line traction kites that pull you along the snow and also along the sand or on the water. And what I had to do was cut panels and each of the panels were large. And I think this would really save me time if I placed all the plans which come from CAD into the laser and cut those from this machine. Now, one thing that I'm really interested in is this enclosure. My laser is in my workshop and it's basically a basement. It has no ventilation, so I have to open the window at the top of the stairs to let out the fumes when the machine is in use. But this enclosure has a smoke exhaust, lighting and shielding to keep you and your Laser Master 3 safe. This is going to be essential for me if I continue in this area. Now onto the assembly. It took me around about 30 or 45 minutes and was very straightforward with minimum parts as most of the machine is pre-assembled. The frame connects together with just one bolt in each of the four corners. It has minimal wiring and all of these are labeled so it can be easily identified when you go and plug in those cables. Now one tip that I want to give you here is to have a cloth handy because this will allow you to prop it up underneath parts of the frame when you're attaching the bolts and aligning the parts. Another tip is to leave the attachment of both the aerial and the laser module to last. This is because you'll be flipping the frame around and upside down to actually get to those bolts and if you start attaching that laser model or the aerial, then it's going to get in the way and could get damaged. Now, one thing that I wasn't too keen on is at the back, we have a number of empty jacks and those are connected to the main umbilical cord of the wires and they sit zip tied to the gantry at the top where the laser module runs back and forth. They don't get in the way at all. It just looks a bit messy. Also supplied with the package, is a memory card with everything you need, including the user manual in multiple languages, charts of engraving and cutting speed for the different materials and different software. I printed these and stuck them on my workshop wall, and later on, I'll probably engrave these into wood or metal so I have a permanent fixture. That's close to hand that I can read the settings off. There's also extensive video links to help you get up and running. This card can be assessed at any time during the operation of the machine because it needs to be in the machine to allow you to actually use it. And the card is hosted as a drive. 
so we can actually access that from a connected computer. So let's get on to using the machine. In my niche, I use open source software, especially in the CAD area. So everything you see here is on Ubuntu. Unfortunately, at the time of speaking, I was limited to Lightburn and not open GRBL, but I was able to get Lightburn up and running with the help of Lightburn documentations because my PC didn't actually recognize the laser. So I needed to do some preset up or I could actually use the laser and everything worked absolutely perfectly. Now I've included that link in the description below. So if you're having the same problems as me, you can follow that. I also reached out to the open source community and there are a number of other softwares that you can use. So I'll be doing a follow up video in the future. I would watch this space because I'm going to be trying out that software. If you are using Mac or Windows, then the options are more open. There's even an app connect directly to the machine, either a phone or tablet. So if you look at the wealth of videos out there, both on your tour of site and other people's reviews, you can see that this thing cuts and engraves at high quality. If you've seen my videos before, I devote a portion of the time to cover subjects in my niche that are outside the norm. So what I don't want to do with this video is punch holes through the thickest material I can find or engrave my logo on some material like everyone else has done. Well, I did that anyway. On that note, please be aware if you're cutting or engraving thick material, then you need to raise the machine up and give it some ground clearance. The LM3 due to its sleek aluminium frame and minimal design is so lightweight it can be easily lifted and supported on blocks or a stand to allow you to do this. So back to my story. As well as being a designer, I'm also an artist. One thing that I want to get into is paper cut. Lately, I came across an artist that uses just a scalper on a paper to create these beautiful pieces. They can take anything up to six months to create. I personally don't have the patience of time to achieve this. So I'm hoping that this machine, along with its accuracy, will allow me to attain my goals. So I was delighted within the first day of using the machine with no experience, I was able to create intricate cuts to create delicate shapes. And this is where the wide speed range due to its top end at 20,000 millimeters a minute, which allowed me to experiment with speed and power to cut my material quickly without any charring or accidentally incinerating the material. Give me full control over the cut of a wider range of materials with different thicknesses. This video was not sped up and shows the actual speed I was cutting some of these materials at. And here's the results on tissue paper. Normal printed paper. And card. So as well as all these features, obviously there's the concern of safety. Laser Master 3 has a security lock to stop it being used by an authorized personnel. There's pan protection, that means the machine, when it's actually working, if it's accidentally pushed, it will stop laser. It has tilt protection, means if the machine is in the process of work and it's actually overturned, then it will actually stop. Now also it has something called a exposure duration limit. If the laser head is on one single spot for a long amount of time and doesn't move, then you've got the possibility of your engraving or your cutting catching fire. So when this is detected, the machine will actually stop the laser, rendering it safe. Now the voltage and current are monitored by safety system as well. If your host computer, the computer that's connected to the machine becomes disconnected, the motherboard and the machine will actually take over control and stop the laser to prevent fire. We also have an emergency stop. And last but not least, you'll get a set of laser goggles that come with the machine. So now for the verdict. For me, this machine ticks all the boxes that I'll look for in a laser cutter slash engraver. It's got the power and speed to cut through the materials that I want to use, but it's compact and small enough for me to use the other tools around my workshop, even if I have to clear away the laser. I can just pick up and put aside due to its lightweight. I also experimented with the wireless network that the laser makes that you can connect to via your computer. This is quite essential for me at the moment because I am photosensitive to light, which means I get headaches and nausea if I'm working with flickering light for too long. What I was able to do is connect to the laser via the wireless network and control it from the other side of the door from my workshop and view it from a TV screen where I set up a camera. Whilst having full control via the software that was offered by our web browser, the minute I connected to the machine, I didn't have to use the phone app 
or light burn or something like the light burn bridge, I was able to connect straight to the laser via the computer and control it wirelessly. I'll continue to do this until I get a closure from the machine, but this allows me to continue and experiment with the machine itself. As regards to projects, the high level of detail I wanted, I was able to produce from the machine and the high top hand allows me to experiment with those materials and get results very quickly. For me, it's a thumbs up. If you want to find out more about this laser engraver, please follow the links below in the description. We also find the voucher code for money off. Thanks for your time and I'll see you again soon.